take a bow. Since Chelsea's a girl dog, I use the word curtsy. But for boy dogs, you can use the word bow. To teach a bow, we're going to start facing our dog. Have a treat in your hand. Hold the treat at nose height. Press the treat back and down toward her back paws. As soon as her elbows touch the ground, I release the treat and back my hand away. One more time, treat starts with her nose. I press it toward her back paws. As soon as her elbows touch the ground, I release the treat and back my hand away. Now there's a couple problems you may encounter. One is that the dog is sitting instead of bowing. This usually happens if you're holding the treat too high. Again, you want to hold it at nose height, press toward the back paws. Another problem you may encounter is a dog that keeps lying down instead of going into a bow. This usually happens if you hold the treat too long instead of backing your hand away right away. The third problem you may encounter is a dog that just keeps backing up. And that usually happens because you're pressing the treat straight back horizontally instead of back and down toward her back paws. Very good. Let's give that a try with some other dogs. If you find your dog is lying down instead of doing a bow, you may have to reward him for just dipping his body. Give him his treat a split second before his oh, elbows yes. actually touch the floor. Good. You can also place your okay. foot on the ground Bow. below his belly to keep him from lying down. Good. Good. Very good. Good job. Once you've got your dog bowing easily with the food lure, it's time to start phasing out that helping hand. Now, a fundamental concept in teaching a dog is the use of progressively greater hints to the dog. The idea is, is that your dog wants to treat as quickly as possible. So if you always first say bow, and then you press in on his nose, your dog is going to begin to figure out that if he does the bow as soon as he hears your cue word, he's going to get his treat faster. So for the bow trick, we're first going to give a hint of a verbal cue, and then I'm going to use the treat to press in on her nose. Chelsea, curtsy, and press. Very good. You don't want to leave too much time between those two things, or the dog won't make the association. Over time, all I'll have to do is say curtsy, and she'll know what that means. Very good. We can then start to add the foot signal. The foot signal for this trick is tapping your toe behind your heel. Yes, you know that one. And again, we want to give the lesser known hint first. So I want to give the signal, then the verbal cue. Curtsy, signal, curtsy. Very good. Over time, she'll know just the signal. And that's enough to get her to do the trick. Great, let's recap. Bow. Hold a treat and gently press it from your dog's nose toward his back paws. Release the treat when your dog's elbows touch the floor. Keep practicing and soon your dog will be taking a bow on cue.